In this video, we are going to learn how to use Cauchy's residual theorem to compute integral z modulus equals 3 e to the power of minus z over z squared dz. So first, let's recall what the Cauchy's residual theorem is. So if there is the complex number b sub 1, which is the coefficient of 1 over z minus z naught in the expansion form, and that complex number b sub 1 is called the residual of the function f at the isolated singular point z naught. And we can use this function integral f z dz equals 2 pi i times that residual. So this provides a very convenient way to calculate the integral function. And we're going to use this to our question. All right, so in our case, we know the isolated singular point z0 is 0 from the denominator part of the question. And we also notice there is e to the power of minus z in the question. So we know we are going to expand it into this form. So in our question, fz equals e to the power of minus z over z squared. And we're going to use the expansion form, which is 1 over z squared times sum, n starts from 0 to infinite, minus z to the power of n over n factorial. And if we move the 1 over z squared within the sum, it becomes sum n starts from 0 to infinite, minus 1 to the power of n times z to the power of n minus 2 over n factorial. In order to find the form 1 over z minus z naught, which is 1 over z in our case, because z naught is 0, as mentioned, we know when n equals 1, we can obtain this 1 over z minus z naught term. Because when n is 1, we have z to the power of minus 1, which is 1 over z. So the corresponding coefficient, which is also the residual of this function fz at the isolated singular point z0, is minus 1 to the power of 1 over 1 factorial, which is minus 1. So based on the Cauchy's residual theorem, we know the residual of the function f at that isolated singular point z0, and we know that point is within the given range, which is z modulus equals 3. We know that represents a circle with the center at the origin, so it's within the range. And the next step, we just need to substitute so integral e to the power of minus z over z squared dz equals 2 pi i times the residual, which is minus 1, that we just obtained. So the final answer for this question is minus 2 pi 